Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mad Battle. Thanks for watching. I got my man Young Chuck on the right side. My man John Arsenal on the left side. They gonna do what they do. Mad Battle. Let's go. Thank 
So what's your influences? Um, music. And um, I would say like, uh, and life, uh, I would say like Kobe, um, AI. And music, I would say um, Spanky, Chris Dave, Adrian Ferro, um, Shari Reed, Corey, guys like that, you know, um, Chikoria. Yeah, um, some guys from you know, old school body rich or whatever, then Shumbers or, you know, guys, some news guy, you know, the new kids be ki- crazy, really. Um, you know, we are this guy right there. Um, even if he's older than me, I'm 26. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm trying to build. Like, I thought it was a secret. What's, what's going on? It's not a secret. What's going on? Now you told the whole world. <laughs> We're good. Uh, 36, he's about to be 40. So, um, yeah. <laughs> not yet, 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 not yet. And this ain't bloopers, it's going. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's, you know, those guys, you know, I'll be listening to every everything, really. Pop music, jazz, um, rap, anything that is nice, you know. That's what's up, that's what's up. How long do you practice, man? Well, <laughs> um... I don't know, man. Right now is uh, n- not so much, but <laughs> <laughs> right now it's more gigs. You just right. gig more, right? A lot, a lot of playing. I do a lot of photography on the side too. Trying to yeah, I seen that on Instagram. Yeah. I see that. You check my man John Arsenal. <laughs> John Arsenal. He does a lot of photography. Check him out. Yeah, I mean a lot of that right now. So when I'm on the road, I get to take pictures for the bands I play for. So that's what's up, man. One thing I know, my man. Your first instrument, you was playing drums. Yeah. What happened? What happened to you? Uh-huh. Why you switched? What happened? Funny thing, I never really switched. Um, the drum is still my first love. But the thing is, like, it's weird to say, but I have more success on bass. And Do you feel like it's because there's so many drummers, like young drummers coming up? There's so many, but maybe not enough bass players, and you just was some type of... You know, you came and just did your thing so well that people just, man, play yeah, bass. I, mean, I, I feel like I was good on, on drums, but to me, on bass, is, it was easier for me to have my own DNA. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people could relate to me like, oh, okay, that's Chuck, you know. On drums, you know, we all sound like somebody, really. So that was my problem, maybe. Don't you think drums helped you play bass a little bit? Like your syncopations, your, your playing, your, does it influence a lot? Yeah, for sure, you know, um, it helped a lot because, you know, there's a lot of keyboard player or saxophone player or whatever that they're not really tight, you know what I'm saying? And that helped me. You want to name somebody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it helped me, yeah. All right, my man. So we're going to go to the second song, and you already see what they do. Boys are killers. All right, this mad battle. Remember that.
Crazy, 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 crazy things going on. Yo, so I, I want to know. You guys are both playing four-string basses. Other than that, what other gears do you use? That's it? You only use four strings? You don't use five, six? Because I see a lot of killers on five strings. I see a lot of killers on six strings. Why are you killing on the four? Uh, four, four strings just uh, resonates with me a, a bit more, you know? I have I tried playing a five for, for a year. And I mean, I like that, but I guess it it just didn't it wasn't it wasn't my thing, you know. I got my thing on four string, and I'm sticking with that for now. I like that. What about you, Chuck? Yeah, um, 
fortune is more my swag um but i don't really have a problem playing the five or the six um i have players that play you know like Derek arch play five or shari reed or, or thunder cap play six and you know uh when i be trying those things you know um it gives me like another swag you know another another way of thinking but to me like my natural swag you know the way i think the way i like to play the bass on the floor is better for me i would say that's what's up that's what's up i like that well we're gonna go to the next song this one i'm hopping on so let's see what we could do Thank you. 
crazy, 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 crazy. So you guys tell me, what inspired you guys to play? Um, the best answer would be life. You know, um, you know, funny thing, I was in the back and the producer told me there's a story behind the Kobe, the AI, and all that stuff you're telling me. I didn't know. I just let you speak. Uh, you was just talking, so I just like, eh, whatever. But he told me there's a story behind it. Talk to me about it. I'm not really sure about what story he's talking about, but um, Kobe, for Kobe, um, I used to hate Kobe. and Actually, actually he said it, it was the lifestyle that Kobe had. Kobe had a certain lifestyle, yeah, um, and you know, you, you, you kind of felt that way. You kind of, I don't know, maybe it was, he, he practiced a lot. He, he just yeah. determined. He, I don't know. Kobe, like, Kobe wake up every morning at 5 a.m. Um, he practiced a lot, and he's never satisfied. Even if he, you know, he win the rings, two, three, he was like, you know, I can get better. So okay, so you took his demeanor and just said, yeah, you know, I got to be yeah. like that. Because, you know, there's so many great players out there. Um, I mean, Shire, um, my my guy, like, this, my hero on basis, I mean, was Jaco Pastorius, but... Right now is Adrian Ferro that I you know I don't want to disrespect the you know Jaco but to me Adrian is just better like you know faster and like I mean, it's, it's a different generation you, yeah, 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 you, yeah, yeah. you like, I mean he's better he's faster yeah but the generation is whole no, 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 Jaco was kind of first I know Jaco I'm not a baseball but I know Jaco the thing is like it's like MJ and you, then you saw Co like you saw Kobe and then you, you see LeBron James you'd be like oh god damn it makes no sense. It's not to take anything away from Jaco, you know what I'm saying? Because Adrian learned from Jaco. Exactly. Everything that Adrian's doing is from Jaco, you know? But it's just crazy to see a guy that good to me. Like I'm I'm I feel lucky to to be able to see that. So to me that's why I, like I push myself every day because you know, I see Jaco, him, guys like that, Matthew Garrison or you know, so many guys, you know, that be killing, you know, Dane Dave, they, uh, yeah, the guy from uh, Yellow Jacket, whatever. So, you know, those guys be killing, you know what I'm saying, uh, Gary Willis or whatever. So that's why, you know, I, I'm trying to push myself every day and trying to learn stuff. Um, you know, basically, I mean, Je Yellow Jacket, I have a album, new album since um, maybe uh, maybe it was last week, whatever. It's very killing. Go look that thing up. Is You're going to learn some stuff. I'm learning. So it's a learning every day from rap, hip hop, gospel, everything. It doesn't matter. It's music. Learning is important. <laughs> uh, do do you prefer improv or you prefer like a set list? Like, you know, I know you play at the cipher, and the cipher is mostly improv. You know, somebody comes with a groove, and cipher is actually in Montreal, downtown Montreal. Check them out, blurry. Um, <laughs> so oh, they had the bootlegger now. Okay, 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 cool. They had the bootlegger now. Check them out, cipher. Yeah, so I know you play at the cypher and it's more improv. Now, what's the difference between playing improv all night and having a set list? Like, you know, you got to play that bass part, one, six, two, five, or whatever it is. Um, the difference for me is like, um, I think I both both are just so so different from each other. Like, you, you can learn different things with with one gig that you won't learn from the other gig so like with cypher it's like the the creative thing or even like just a jazz gig or anything but uh like when i do like the pop thing it's more of like uh searching for sounds searching for like or like chasing that perfect show because like since the bass lines are usually pretty simple like you just try to make them feel so so good and with like like flawless you, you, I'm i'm always chasing after like the flawless show which never really happens, but <laughs> that's, at least that's what you're going for. Yeah, that's what I'm going for on those gigs. It's like a sound, like a feel, a, a time thing. Um, whereas like Cypher is the same thing, but like you, 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 uh, other people will inspire you to take the, the track elsewhere. Whereas like when it's a set gig, like the track is the track, you know. So you try to do it justice. I understand that. I understand that. Really nice, man. So. Let's say you had an advice to give to players, whoever it is. Any advice? Go from you, go go to him. Um actually in, any musician, it could be a saxophone player, it could be anybody coming coming up. Anybody that's watching this actually, anybody that's watching Mad Battle. Yeah. 
you know, let them know. What would you tell them? Like some a youngin that's saying, "Wow, you killing! I want to be like you tomorrow." Because you know we're gonna get a lot of those. So, what would you tell them? The, I think the biggest thing is just uh, remaining a student. You know, whether it be in music or just all facets of of life. You know, that's the biggest thing. Right. What about you, Chuck? Um, I would say a lot of things, but um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I would say remain a student. So that that's a great one. Uh, second, I I would say um. You know, music is like anything else in life, like sports or be a teacher. You refer to sports a lot, man. What's up, man? <laughs> sports or be a teacher, do horse or whatever. It's like there's no good way to do it. It's just, you know, doing like be yourself, you know, and trying to like be inspired from what is out there because it is out there. So, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to relate to some people, but you got to still find a way to create your own stuff you know what i'm saying so that's that's the key because even if you want to have a gig you don't want to sound some, like somebody you know so you're gonna even if like don't you you don't you don't really need to have a gig it could be your gig, gig you know what i'm saying you're the hardest or whatever so it like when i see guys like tom the cat direct urge and robert glasper they create the anomaly they create the whole thing you know what i'm saying the, the whole style of music and that's sometimes what you need because you, you're trying to make money. Yeah, we like to play music, but, you know, at the same time, you're going to have a wife, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have a kid one day and, you know, you need some money to you know, provide. And uh, aside, aside from the money, you don't want to be the same as... Yeah. You don't want to be... Your name is Chuck. You don't want somebody to call you, oh, what's up, man? You play like Adrian Ferrer. I still got a name. Yeah, yeah, call yeah, me yeah. Chuck. You understand? Call me John. Call me... Call me who I am. You understand? I mean, you you got influences from him. You got influences from that. You influenced by a lot of people. Cool, but I still have my name. You understand? So I I read this thing. Ernest Holmes said, "If there's two people alike, one of them is useless. So if right, you play exactly right, like him, I don't need you to be here. Right? right, right, right. right? Play him. Play the same right, thing. Play just play it twice. Oh, I'm gonna call him. Right? Because like I mean, I don't need two of you guys. Right, right, right. What am I gonna do with two of you guys? It don't make any sense. If two people are alike. Then one of them is useless. So Mad Battle is really, you know, you're doing your thing, he's doing his thing. It's a language. You understand? It's, music is a language anyway. You speak in Creole to him, he's speaking Spanish to you. But you guys understand each other. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So that's really pretty much what it is. But nice hearing from you guys. This is the last track. We're going to get it from the books. Producer, let me hear it.
Two bass players out of Montreal. Two bass players out of Montreal. This man plays everywhere. This man plays everywhere. Where where can they find you? Cypher tomorrow night. Cypher tomorrow night. Tonight's Wednesday. Tomorrow's night's Thursday. So if you're watching this on a Friday, it'll be next week. Yeah, it'll be next week. So then Thursday nights at the Cypher. Where is it again? Bootlegger Bar on St. Laurent. Bootlegger Bar Restaurant. Uh, on St. Laurent, you said. Yeah. Where can they find you? Where can they find you? Um, and anywhere, man, everywhere. Really. What's your What's your Facebook? What's your Instagram? What's your IG is Mud Chuck M O D Chuck. Um, Facebook. I don't really be, be using Facebook like that, so it's better, you know. IG it is. IG, you know, but you know, you can't find me everywhere. I be everywhere, really. I be talking to everybody. If you DM me, I you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm cool. Because I be I have been that guy, you know, you trying to guy talk guy to this guy, guy, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, 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 yeah. So that everybody been there, man. Everybody been there. Everybody been struggling with the practicing. Everybody been struggling with their, with with their um, with coming up. And you know, everybody's struggling. We musicians, we all the same way. We're all the same way. We all got the same type of mental headaches. We all got the same type of practicing issues. We all got the same type of. What else we got the same type of <laughs> Dude. man? Because oh. if you're telling me, if you're telling me, if you're telling me, you DM people, you DM people and be like, I'm waiting for them to reply to me. Everybody been there. Yeah, yeah. You know how many people DM Beyonce? They're not gonna get no response, but yeah, yeah, you know how many yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all been there. We all alike. Might be surprised and get some response, but you know, you never really know. You know, 
I mean, the first time, you know, I ain't gonna lie, guys like Nick Smith res respond back to me or Sean Wright or whatever, but it's not everybody, you know. I'm not gonna say names that would don't doesn't yeah, respond, yeah, whatever, yeah. but maybe like today is different, but you know, me, you know, I was hurt, but at the same time, I felt like, you know, I was like, okay, I got some, some to prove, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, maybe I'm not good enough. So, enough, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes this fan is just a fan, you know what I'm saying? He's just, in, he's not trying to do what you're doing. You, you you know how it is now though because you got some people that's not even trying to play bass and not even trying to do that they're just trying to tell you you're good now how many messages do you get that you're good that you're going to respond to you can't respond to all of them now imagine you're Sheree Reed and you get a hundred of them every night what can you yeah, do no, yeah every night it, it might be crazy a little bit and you know you cannot I'm trying to respond to everybody and for now I am But maybe when I get to the, like, Corey and real level, Anomaly or, you know, Robert Glasper or, you know, I'm saying those guys, you know, Derek Ush, whatever, maybe I won't because it's just, it's just a lot of work. But I try because, you know, sometimes you just don't know, like, what this person is going through life, you know. I remember, like, Robert said uh, something, oh, my bad, said something about, um, you know, He, he meet up with a, a friend of mine. I'm not gonna say the story because it's for him to to say for real, for real. But sometimes when you don't really know what somebody is going through, you might be so able to help that person. But the fact that you're acting funny and you don't answer yeah, she's is right. You know what I'm saying that people might kill himself tonight. Mm -hmm. So you don't really know. So that's my whole point. So that's why I'm trying to help everybody. Whenever you say hi or ask advice or whatever, like yesterday I was That, giving advice on on DM for free. Most of the bass player be like charging people like fifty dollars for like a thirty minutes session um, on Skype or whatever. You know, I I don't charge anybody like if because me I feel like I'm still learning. So I'm like, well, if you want some free lessons. Not, well, <laughs> not, My man just said. I'm charging like two bucks. My man just said, "You want some free lessons? Hit him up. It's yeah, Mud Chuck. M O D C H U C K. Yeah, Mud Chuck on Instagram. If you got one last word to tell everybody, man, give me give me one sentence because I know you gotta go. You've been here for a long time. You know we've been doing this thing for a long time. One last thing you gotta say to the peoples. Uh, stay practicing. See you in there. See you in there. At the cipher, by the way. Um, be you, and I don't like the people. I don't like people that don't want to be the best, even if the best is a mindset. It does. It doesn't mean that you're gonna be the best, but the mindset. Not. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's gonna make you be you. Mm -hmm. But if you like, oh no, I, I, this guy, oh no, I cannot be like him. That's some. That's not a good mindset to have. I think. So. Be the best, be yourself, and, you know, do your thing. You heard him from the best, man. You heard it from the best. This mad battle. We're going to wrap it up for tonight. I'm glad you guys stick with me, man. Me, I don't got nothing to say, man. Them boys did everything. They done played everything. They did everything. But, by the way, this the one thing I got to say, though, this is a community project. So if you're a producer, you're a singer, you're a musician, you want to be part of this mad battle story, mad battle event, Let me know. Hit us up, madbattles at gmail.com. That's M-A-D-B-A-T-T-L-E-S at gmail.com. Hit us up, and we'll fix something up. Mad Battles. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.